so it's been four days since the last time I trained outside and that's just been due to weather and it's just like it's like rain is really like it's like because I'm not good enough I feel like I'm not good enough where I can like clearly just have faith in myself to like catch myself from any like from almost any position in bailing it's like I'm not gonna try and risk training in white grass where it's like even at that even if I don't you shit the rain like or like get hurt it's like the training like the quality of the training itself isn't gonna be high it's like it would really just be to like get that habit in me but it's like I don't know it's like it's really good, like the benefit is it's good for habit form because I'm doing it every day even though I'm like fucking don't wanna and I'm like I'm not even like it's not really benefit me in the sense that it's like I'm getting better but then there's also the fact I can't even do that it's like that's right I can't go outside and play in the rain so it's like I don't know so yeah we're going back out today it's probably gonna be like <laughs> we're probably gonna like be slightly better than like the first day of like training every day started like a week ago but it's like how do I explain this? It's like, that helped, that helped me, so I should somewhat still have a benefit of, like, the looseness from that, like, a little minor benefit, not like, not like day three and day four, where I was just like, dude, I feel good, like, warm-up isn't taking that long, it's like, I'm good, I, I'm ready to start trying some new stuff, go hard, earlier, but it's like, so I, like, we'll be able, like, we'll get there faster than day one, but we won't even be close, we'll probably be, be like, day two, maybe. Whereas, like, day four especially, I felt like I was like, oh, dude, I'm ready to fucking, I'm just ready to throw shit. Like, I'm almost, it's like, I throw, like, 10 to 15 warm-up kicks, I'm good. Whereas, I'm like, I throw 10 to 15 warm-up kicks, and I'm like, okay, now let's, like, let's try and go to, like, level two stuff. Warm-up with that for a little bit, then try and start throwing level three shit. Where it's like, day four, I was just, I was over-rotating my 540s into almost forcing myself into a jackknife. That I didn't even, I wasn't even trying for I wasn't trying for that jackknife. It's just like my left foot just finishes kicking and I still have rotational like rotational momentum and then it just starts throwing my body over into the hook kick and then you shit. And it's like I wasn't trying for that, but it's go on I don't know. I'm sad about that. It's like the next day it rains, I'm just wait staring out at the sky like just But yeah, let's see how this goes. I'm not I'm not expecting much from me today. Recovery wise my whoop strap saying I'm good, so it's like I'm expecting a lot of output, not necessarily high quality of output, I guess. Cause it's like just because my cardio places me there doesn't mean the technique is gonna be there. Cause technique, the the di training every day thing is where the technique comes from. It's like. My strength and my cardio probably will be there. Because it's like, I also did get rest day, so it's like, my strength will be there. My cardio will be there. Yeah, my, my fucking my camera was just like, bro, it's too bright. Overexposed your face, B. The crazy thing about, like, my leg hair is like it's been less than a week and like look at this look at this like i don't know if you can see that but like look at that growth it's been like less like half a week it's like bro i didn't know i have to nair my legs every week it's like i didn't think it would grow this fast molly do not fuck with me all right go sit over there get out get away Also, I learned, I learned what's wrong with my hip. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm starting to narrow down what's actually wrong with my hip. And it has to do with, like, my right hip flexor. I think my right, like, psoas, I think it's what it's called. It's something, something is wrong with it. It's, like, extremely tight. I've noticed that from, like, stretching. It's really tight. And I just noticed it from, like, now that, like, my hips are getting looser, I guess. Even though they're tighter. They're like getting, like, statically they're tighter, but like dynamically they're getting looser. It's like, 
that's where it hurts. Like, or maybe I don't know. Maybe let me try. Let me try to throw some, throw some dark side and see if if the other side hurts. Maybe it's just like it has to do with the kicking technique. I think it. Yeah, I think it's just that hip flexor is messed up. Another thing that could just be making me relatively better is that I practiced like at least 15 roundhouses and 15 hook kicks at the beginning of like every session. That could greatly be helping, like just making my my foundation so much stronger, so that everything else is just better. Cause it's like my foundations. I feel like all the basic stuff. I'm like a, I'd say a solid see like a 7 out of 10 and my, my like if that's like level 1 tornadoes and they'll be like level 2 and like jumping hook, like step over hook kicks or like level 2 I'd say that's about like maybe like a I don't want to say it's like it's like a it's a 60 it's a D it's like a, it's passable could be a lot like there's room for improvement could be a lot better but it's passable whereas like uh my 540, that's like, that's a 5, that's like, you're really close to getting it good, or I can combo out of it, like, I can't combo out of that, I know that for sure, like, especially, like, now that I'm, like, slayed, I'm like, I can't combo out of it, I'm trying to go for jackknife, I mean, I could, can't, I could combo out of it, it would be really, scared, like, not clean, like, my tornado would be, but I mean, I, can call, I could probably combo out of it, like, probably have to do, like, a 540 back sweep, would probably be the only combo I could probably do out of it. Or maybe even the like be I don't know. We're not there yet though, so yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna try that combo as our MSJ on one. Even though I landed it, I feel like the transition from the blaster scoot to the Regular scoop could be a lot better. Ooh, this would probably make it a lot better is if we did. Why do I did front sweep, hook kick, blaster scoot, scoot, B kick. What we could do to make that blaster scoot into that regular scoot would be throw a back sweep in there. But we'll just try the original combo. Combo A of tornado kick, front seat, butterfly kick. Target kicking is just targeting something like just off. <laughs> so it's like 
I'm still targeting like something. I'm not good enough where like I can imagine the target's just in the air. I have to, like I physically have to see what I'm trying to target to throw the kick through it. So it's like it's like tornadoes are slight like I'm like slightly they're slightly a little more than 360. So it's like every tornado I throw is just like 10 degrees more off. So then eventually I got to the point where I'm like, my target isn't even close. I'm gonna have to throw a hook kick to hit it. If that was on slippery grass, I would have died right there. That dry grass just like grabbed onto my foot and did not let it slip. Plaster scoot, I really should work on like the case step. That helps. Plaster scoot still hurts. Look, leg, look. 